Wash. What's going on team? So we're home from work right now and just gonna eat my pre-workout meal and it's gonna be, I don't know if you can see this, it's four eggs, little bit of ham, two slices of toast, I'm just gonna add basically some brown sauce. I love brown sauce, it's the best thing ever, I tell you. Hell yeah. Now we are gonna go and train with Pete, the guy that lost 14 and a half stone, and I'm just helping him out, really. And we're gonna go hit some chest and some biceps. Should be a good session. Okay, good pump. 11 a.m. and we just rocked up outside of the one and only place that you'll see me at, the workout meal Limited Spa. And today is gorgeous, man, it's so nice. Like, ridiculous. So I'm ready just to kill this and uh, just make it happen. I'm a bit tired, I need a pre-workout. What's going on team? Right, so we just finished at the gym. We just got home and I just wanted to talk to you guys because basically Pete, when I went into the gym, he was like, man, I felt so sick yesterday. Didn't want to train, but I just brought my ass here and got it done. And he said to me, do you ever have bad days? You know, because a lot of time on social media, you'll see me smiling, you'll see me happy. And I went to him, hell yeah, I have bad days, you know? But I still went to the gym those days. I still made them count. You know, and that is what changes you. That's what makes you different to everyone else. That's what, if you want to succeed at something, even when you're having a really bad time, you have to just somehow make it happen. You know, you might not have the best session, but you're lapping everyone else that is going to be sat there on the couch. But that's the difference between you and somebody that maybe might not achieve as much as you will. Because there's many times where I've come close to that. And there's been days where I've gone, I don't want to do it. I'm not going. But if the majority of the time when you don't want to go and you have a bad day and you go and you just make it happen that is where you're going to see the biggest results it's like this low kai bracelet you know you're going to have bad times but just remember you're going to have good times too so just get through those bad days and i promise you there'll be good days coming but anyway really really good session and um enjoy the rest of the video <laughs> Fucking back's insane. Hello. Hold. Finish. Day done. Good. Really nice workout. Yeah, Overall, high volume, very high volume, which was really, really cool. And he smashed it. Okay, we can't even take his stuff off. Um, anyway, home, eat and uh, rest and recover before tomorrow morning, which will be a CrossFit workout again. I can't wait. Gotta love a tank pasta. My favorite ones are the cherries. 3.45 in the afternoon. We're here just walking the dog. We're doing our standard uh, Friday afternoon dog walk uh, around two of our parks. Usually takes like 50 minutes. Working up an appetite for dad to cook dinner. And they're right, dad. I'm a flasher. <laughs> <laughs> made no sense. <laughs> <laughs> I guess two steak burgers and four pieces of unsmoked black bacon. Four pieces of bacon. Two slices of bacon, two eggs, and a burger in two buns with salad. Steak burger. 
and dad did cook it. I have to take hats on. I have to take my hat off to dad. Credit to him. He is a good chef. He is a very, very good chef. I'm just gonna put some brown sauce on it. And then I'm gonna eat it. Good morning! Sat at a red light, 10.47 in the morning. We're on the way to CrossFit, and anybody who has me on Snapchat will know this view because this is where I sing from when I'm on my Snapchat. Um, yeah, and it's quite embarrassing. So uh, if you do want to add me on Snapchat, then I have got it down in the description box below. But yeah, let's go and hit up some CrossFit. Oh. Let's go then, 10 reps. One. It's now 12 or 5 in the afternoon. Just finished our workout. It was a 30 minute workout, and basically there was like a point score uh, for each workout, and you could just pick whichever workout you wanted to do and then smash it. And we got our ass kicked massively. I had a massive headache before I came in, but now all the endorphins are flowing, and I'm feeling like amazing like dead, but amazing. And uh, now I feel great. So, uh, time to go get some food and uh, mentally smashed it today, enjoying it. And that means one thing and one thing only, like always, and smiling. Yes. What's going on team? So uh, had a good avocado on toast at a place called Coffee Architects. And now we have like a watch on Michael Kors. Uh, that's like the most fancy thing I actually own. Uh, plain white t-shirt, $3.99 from H&M. You know how it is. And uh, just a pair of jeans and a pair of boat shoes. Because we are going uh, to a leaving party. So three of my good friends are uh, leaving to go to Australia for a whole year. So uh, they've put together like a, a little kind of party. And so we're gonna go down there, watch the rugby and chill out. But anyway, I'm not gonna take my camera down there or anything. So uh, I guess I'm gonna leave you here. So I hope you have a good, oh, I hope you have a good. <laughs> I hope you have a good day, evening, night, whatever it is. And uh, keep smiling and we will catch you guys in the next one.